uh, Jordan Johnson is Tech State University. We're gonna doing some push-ups and perfect pull-up. We're we'll gonna be trying to hit our uh, core today. So our first exercise with the push-up. What we're gonna do here is offset one of the push-ups. So bring this down here. And what we're trying to hit here is the oblique mainly, and also the chest at the same time and a little glute. We want to come down, rotate just like normal, bring the knee up into the elbow, and when it extend, we want to kick back with the leg. That's when you hit your glute. Again, it's right here. Same thing on the side. That's one of my favorite ones to do with the push-up. Get your glutes, your oblique, and your chest. Second thing we're going to do with the core is here with the Australian, down under. And you can use a core ball for this, or I have a stool, because our core ball got popped by the dog last week. Anyways, what we're going to do is get our feet up on the stool. This stabilizes your core muscles. Of course, your back. Again, with the core ball, works a lot better if you're trying to hit your core. The next up, abdominal exercise I'm going to do with the pull up is right here. And we're just simply going to hang and then come up the sides, hit both obliques, and then even straight out front. Alright, this next one I came with on my own. Gotta take your shoes off for this. It's with the push ups. Now, this is kind of an advanced core exercise, but it works very well, especially on wood floors. Get the push ups right here. It's what you want to do is bring your feet and arch your back into a pike, like so. Very challenging, but great for the core. And that's your abdominal workout for the pull-up and the push-up.